Hey guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back. Let's play some more Prussian Space Marines here in EU4. We are rushing Germany. I know, we are, we are. I've gotten comments. We're gonna do it. Admin Tech 20, my friends. You have to be Admin Tech 20. We're gonna conquest all the land we need to eventually. I can't say we're going to be for filming, forming it on the exact day that we need to, but uh, we're doing our best here. So these guys are coming over here. We're gonna see down Bremen. Yeah, sorry, Brabant. You're gonna be a punching bag for a bit, my friend. So who can we peace out? We need to peace out Burgundy. So let's just rush it for Burgundy. Cause they're, you know, the majority of belligerents on their side. Oh yeah, well over half. So should be pretty straightforward. Also, since we have the economy, why don't we um, upgrade our ships here? Let's have you guys do this here and protect trade in Novgorod. Okay, so generally this would give us stability, but since we have three, it will give us mana or prestige. Well, we have max prestige, so I'll take the mana. Let's get over here. We might actually be able to prevent any occupations in our vassal, which would be great. Uh, ah, they took the 28 percenter. Okay, let's actually, what we're going to do here. So I think our combat width went up, so it's 29 now. So let's, that's fine. We only have 27 cannons anyway, so yeah, this is fine. Have these guys follow them behind. There we go. Wipe those dudes out here. Siege down the hog. Okay, East Frischland. East Frischia. Hmm. I changed my mind. Getting Burgundy out is going to be the most useful thing. Do we have a general? Not bad. I do want to thank you guys for the incredible support that I've been getting on this campaign. Um, I am so genuinely thankful that I have so many cool people that are just, you know. Ooh, Muscovy has laid a claim to rise on. The amount of cool people that support me on, on my channel is, is incredible. I, I'm so thankful for you guys. My bad, I got a little something bugging my neck, right, my throat right now. Um, so. I would like to do something to hurt our relations with them. Send them a warning. Yeah, and then I can scornfully insult him and he'll break royal marriage so we're not losing Diplo anymore. So let's head on down here. Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot right now. I got something in my throat. I was feeling okay, and then all of a sudden it started itching. So we got a battle down here. Doesn't look like much of a battle. <laughs> yeah, about that. I lost some men, but... Alas, the Prussian discipline cannot be, bo cannot be uh, beaten. Siege's capital down here in about, you know, a month or less. Ooh. So send him a scornful insult if the relations are below 150. Oftentimes it will break royal marriages. He's got negative prestige or negative stability, so he may not, but oftentimes they will. We've won Dijon A. You guys shall break your alliances with Holland. Give me monies and give more monies. There we good. Have you guys come on up here to the hog. Have these guys come on up here and uh, that's basically it now. Might as well come on over here and siege down Utrecht. Actually, let's get those guys off of Brabant. And let's just carpet siege over here with these guys. Oh, that's a fort as well on Munster. There we go. Hello there and goodbye there. Not bad. 
We checked once out, so... I suppose I will, uh... Take some money from him. Something like it is. Something like it is. Get that full occupation ASAP. Get some cannons down here, over here. Not bad. Making progress on all the forts we're t working on. There we go. This is so easy. So we're going to take those two for ourselves. And he's got claims on all of this. So we'll take as much as we can. Probably Amsterdam. Aggressive expansion is going to be a big one in this war. Uh, I do have claims on Friesen. So what I'm going to do... I'm okay with fighting Holland again. I'm going to white piece him. That means we only have a five-year truce. Because I've gotten... Whenever I white piece people, I get a lot of comments. People are like, hey, how come... You're doing what you're doing here. Why are you white piecing them? Why don't you take their money? Because the longer, the more war score you spend. So take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. The more war score you spend in the peace deal, the longer the truce is. So if I take nothing, white piece, five years flat. October of five years from now, 84. If we say, you know, 100% him or yeah, 100% him, it's 15 years and it scales. So, you know, 50% is... Uh, you know, 11 years or, or whatever. It's, I can't do math, but that's how that works, friends. Lithuania likes me a little bit more for Diplo. That's fine. Okay, let's get these guys grouped up over here. Because uh, we definitely are hurting for manpower. We're going to take a little bit of manpower hit here. Let's actually just split them. Have you guys head over here. Have you guys head over... Yeah, supply limit is not very good over here. You guys there, and you guys here. There we go. Get our boys home. No more claims on... Uh... Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that. We're going to give all of this to Brabant and see what he can do with this. Aggressive expansion is definitely going to be our main limiter. So maybe just Amsterdam. Yeah, because I could take that and it's just like, oh, never mind. So coalition might form Mecklenburg, Goslar. A lot of these admittedly are tags that need to be gone anyways. I don't know if claims on Mecklenburg, which is really weird. So here's what we can do. We can yoink you. As long as you peace out during the before the end of the year, you actually get bonuses to your... Um, I'll show you. So, yearly prestige here. So, if we have a relations guy, which we do not, but the way that it works is, if you take a look here, our relations, um, we're going to lose 3.3 .3 aggressive expansion at the end of the year. That's in a week. So, Lubeck and Goslar are going to have 50, or Mecklenburg and Goslar will have 50. At the end of the year, it'll take over, they'll have 47, right? Um, Denmark won't join, Hamburg won't join, Platinate, Lubeck. So I, I'm not too worried about this because as soon as these pieces are up, truces are up with these guys, we're going to attack again. Like, these guys are going to get attacked again. I need to attack these guys anyways. So rather than spending point, spending our resources over here, we should probably just come on over here. Also, they can't join, a, join a war with you, or war against you, if they have, um... A truce. So, I'll just co-belligerent these boys, right? No, not not go slower. Nah, no co-belligerent for Mecklenburg. We'll we'll wait and we'll white piece him, and then we'll get our we'll get some claims on him. So this is fine. There we go, and then we will piece this one out. We'll take him or uh, Holland for him, and then we'll just keep this piece right here. Um, like I said, shorter truce is fine. Ten years is already a long time. Uh, let our, aggress our aggressive expansion tick down over the next few years. I will take this before we take this. The this this is a really good mil tech. This is also really good, and it also gives us a discount. So, and 
Besides, we're gaining, what, 14 mil, 15 mil manpower a month, or mil points a month? Pretty good. Might be able to get a little bit more. No, we already have it. So, here's a nice little fun thing. We gain 18 from our crown land here. Um, if we l take this, it'll lose the 20 um, loyalty. It's not a big deal, though. But then, we immediately give it right back. They gain 10 more crown land. We're up to 28. So now it's going to go from 113. Look at that. 120. So we just gained 7,000 max manpower. All we did was give them some crown land. Uh, and then as we dev up, we'll gain more crown land. So the goal is to have, you know, like 60 and then like 40. That's that's the goal there. And obviously that's not like the exact amount you're looking for. We would like a little bit more, but it's not, not a huge deal if you don't, right? We don't need a general over there. It's fine. Don't need admin yet. Won the Siege of Magdeburg. So we'll see what we can take here. I'm not going to get my hopes up about taking much of anything. May just end up needing to sit on the war for a little bit. It's not a big deal either way. Do we still have the manpower recovery? We do. Goodness gracious, we have no manpower. That's a uh, white piece Mecklenburg. That way I can build up some spy network, get some tr claims on them. We won the Siege of Dresden. These guys are now full occupied. Very good. We'll just speed five for now. I'm going to let at least like a year and a half go by. Let some more exhaustion tick down. I would like to touch my lands up over here with him. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, dismantling the HRE honestly was such a huge deal for us. Oh, I forgot to core that. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. Culture is lower Saxon, huh? No, I won't accept any cultures quite yet. Having high prestige also affects your... Um, hel it helps out with the aggressive expansion impact and improve relations, so... Also, oftentimes worth looking into having higher prestige as well. Let's have these guys head up to... Um, Stetten. Drill the armies. Protestant neighbors reach out. Sure. Poland has had rebels every time I've looked over there for a while. Looks like Austria's got some rebels as well. Austria's blobbing down here. Look at this. Long Ohm. Long Ohm cannot... Long Ohm doesn't exist. Long Ohm can't hurt you. Long Ohm exists. Be careful, my friends. Damn it. I'll take this. This is fine. You're paying an extra 25% for an additional 3% to 0.3% all power cost for the rest of the game. Pretty good. I'm going to say Worf. So let's take a look here. Yeah. All right. So if we wait one more year, Bremen. So let's make a nice long piece with Goslar. This farm prestige on him. That's actually totally fine. 15 prestige for me. Um, which will help out with our changes. So he won't be able to join. Let's get a couple of these guys back on. Um, okay, let's see here. I have basically all the claims on these guys that I'm going to be able to get. Let's wait one more month. Get the claim. Recall. And get uh, both of these guys on outraged countries. And we'll just sit here on that for a moment. I'm basically just going to let it go until I get Call for Peace, which is going to be coming soon, but hopefully we can go at least until the next year so aggressive expansion can tick down. There we go. And we take our... Um, hmm. I'm good with taking this right now. It's fine. Hey, got an extra siege pip. Apparently these guys were feeling feeling frisky. 
Wanted to come out here and get stack wiped real quick. Oh, Leipzig. Leipzig? Get one over here as well. Income for vassals and institution spread. Very cool. Right. Right. So let's get these guys over here. Let's get a third general. Oh my gosh, we're getting such good generals. Alfred Blankensy, you maniac. More admin mana? Sure. We will not forget this. Don't care about on halt. Yeah. We'll see how things are looking. Get these guys back over, have them drilling. Army professionalism is explosive right now. More admin mana, sounds good. Might as well do some deving. Speaking of, I think I forgot to turn this one off. Let's turn that off as well. Let's dev this pro this state up a little bit more. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cheap. Not bad at all. And base tax isn't the most useful thing, but it is helpful. It's money in our bank. So we went one more year. So let's take a look here. Yeah, I don't know about this. You can see how close a lot of these guys are. So let's see here. Mecklenburg won't. Dortmund won't. Holland won't. Goslar won't. Ulm could. I'm not too worried about this. I think if we farm a little bit of prestige here... Break your alliance with Mecklenburg. I think we can manage that easily enough. So, in an attempt to prevent them from joining. I wonder if I could get a uh, justified trade conflict with them. That would be a blockade war though. Christina, huh? Ooh. They got the queen. Long live the queen of Denmark, apparently. Being ahead on Diplotech is great because you get extra 20% additional income from trade efficiency. There we go. He must be counter espionage. Yeah, he is. Minus 50%, 0.4 a month. It's not worth. Look at that. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. When's our truce up with these guys? Eighty-four. That's about that time, right? <laughs> Lithuania is uh, doing okay. It's only a matter of time before I have to go to war with Muscovy. Sweden's up here. Um, is there any friends that we would like to see? I think if we traded Muscovy for Spain, that would probably be better for us. So let's dissolve that alliance there, and then uh, swing on down to Spain. Provence, huh? I love that Toulouse is still there. We released Toulouse a long time ago. Can I rival Muscovy? I cannot, sadly. That's fine. I can send them a scornful insult, basically pay some prestige so that they'll break royal marriage with me. Do it. I will royal marry you. Well, how fortunate is that? You can break royal marriages with your um, with your rivals for free. And then you got this crazy name province. Got some rebels over there. They should handle it. These guys have a lot of men. That's really good. Let's revoke our embargo over here. We have giant PP. So good. Let's um, send out some insults to make sure our PP stays as massive as possible. Your mother was a hamster. And your father smells of elderberries. A little bit of corruption. No big deal. And then... Truce with these boys will be up. I say we go back to war with Otto, man. If we can call Austria in again, Austria in this time, it would be great. Let's send him an insult. Oh, no truce. Once our truce is up, you can insult him for PP. Send him an insult. Five PP. Not bad. Oh, nice. Money and admin points for prestige and innovativeness. Wow, we are doing really well on the innovativeness front. 
So, same thing. Let's actually see here. So 29 cannons. So let's come in here. Macro builder, you. Let's go with like 30. 36 and then 29. Oh, no, not cav, what am I doing? 29, that is our template. So we will say units are being merged, right? So let's just pull those boys off for now. So we're not taking so much attrition. He's got a little bit, looks like they're not doing too good. 50 up to our 73, so we're doing okay. Here we go. Nope. What? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That was a mistake. Okay. So let's have you guys come here. There we go. So I'll split off 24 units. We can have another 12. So let's get 12 more. That way we're at our force limit. Puffing our chest up so we don't get attacked mostly. No coalition will form if they think that you're too strong. I did not mean to do that. Wrong button. Okay, cool. So we have a 65 stack and then a 36 stack ready to reinforce. Um, humiliate rival? Why not? Let's see here. That'll allow us to get some monies from him, which I think is the major thing that I really want anyways. How is his economy looking? He still has 17 loans, so... His economy's not looking too good. This is a show... Oh, take, take his capital. Okay. Well, that's fine anyways. Uh, I'll call Austria in. Austria is going to separate peace out because, you know, that's what allies do is they separate peace out. But that's not a big deal. And the coalition forms because we're in a war. Yeah, that will happen. Nothing we can really do about that. Um, we are taking a bit more attrition here than I'd like. But initially, until we can whittle away at least a little bit of his armies, I don't want to be risking it. So he's got 128,000, but I have a feeling he's about to grow very large very quickly. Hopefully we can take this. I would just like to like rush his capital here. That is the war goal. Get the war goal. Let the ticking war score go up. If they just want to come up here and siege down Austria, fine by me. Yeah, our coalition is growing. It's not going to fire though. I'm, I'm fairly confident it won't fire. Yo, what the heck? Just took a ton of attrition right there for no reason. There we go. Well, it's on my mind. Let's upgrade a couple of these forts over here as well. Got to protect ourselves. There we go. Give that one to Brabant as well. Let those guys go through here. There we go. Yeah, they're going to siege down Vienna very quickly. Austria is merely a diversionary tactic. We haven't fought a single battle, and we're already going to siege down Constantinople. Looks like uh, Brabant got down here real quickly as well. Probably should core up our lands. So, Scorch it. Head on over here to Gallipoli. That way, anybody who's coming across from Anatolia is going to have to go through these units. Fine. Put you guys over here. So he's got a lot of men over there, man. That's crazy. Austria is definitely going to separate peace out. Which is not an issue. Because if they annul treaties with me, it's like, what? who cares? I don't. I certainly don't. Sieging him down is going to be good for, our, for us. As well as hurting his economy. That's the main thing. They're on v v uh, Warsaw. So here's a nice little tick. Since uh, Brabant is leading the siege, he's got the 28%. If we tell him to go passive and unpause for a day, he'll leave to go home and then we'll take over the siege, which is quite helpful. Save us a couple of siege ticks. Pull you guys over here. Looks like they're over here now. I would like to get them off of Warsaw if we could. All right. Very good. Give this to Brabant as well. Get these boys over here. Here we go. Well, lads, 
That's about gonna do it. So I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, I would ask that you would be an absolute Chad. Show your support by leaving a like on the video. It's really, really important that I get the support. That uh, if, if you guys enjoy it, that you're showing your support because uh, mm, they're already on it. I'll, I'll lose the pr tradition. Um, let, letting Go YouTube and Google know that you appreciate what I do is, is huge for getting me propped up in the algorithm. So, you know, I know. It sounds dumb. I hate asking it. I know that it sounds like I'm begging. I basically am. But um, if you guys want to show your support, leaving a like is a huge way to do it. It takes like two seconds. Subscribe if you haven't already. We have a Discord as well that sends notifications. So if you want to keep up to date with the series, you can actually just join the Discord and it will send you notifications whenever we... Um, whenever we upload videos, so that's pretty helpful. If you want to support us on Patreon, if it's within your means, the Patreon is the best way to do it. Uh, it's also going to be linked in the description below the video. But uh, that's all I got for you for today. We're going to wrap this war up in the next one. Let's siege back war. So real quick, though. All right. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Oh, hey, you made it to the end of the video. That's pretty cool. Make sure you check out a couple of these videos that we have linked based on the YouTube algorithm. And a big special thanks to my January patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, M. Dressel, Thara, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Jay Cutchell, N. Winkler, RJ Pilot, and many more. You guys are wonderful. Your support is very much appreciated.